Nigel. Yep. Vancouver, your time at Vancouver. What do you? What are your fondest memories of playing in Canada? Uh, I still feel it's like an un untapped market. I yeah. think Vancouver really is a big club, and you know. Uh, oh, look it! There you are. Oh, is this the flexing Ooh, goal? Hey. Is oh, this the flex oh, selly? Why? why? Come on now, <laughs> show the celebration. Back, Fullback. Oh god. Anyway, Oof. that's a Cuban, Vancouver. right? That's Ozzy Alonso, right? Oof. That was you in goal. That was you. <laughs> <laughs> that was you in goal. Hey, 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 hey! Nice. Come on now, you nice man, like nice. Okay, I'd like to revise. This is now the most I've seen him smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not blushing. Looking but good. Anyway, no. um, the manager of Hansida, he's really liked. From people that I know at the club, they really like I him. I love Vanny And you can team. see the, the, um, the passion that he has. Mm -hmm. He gets everyone engaged. And I think the thing about him as well, he's got good man management skills. And when you look at Vancouver last year, he knows how to utilize his players. You know, White was fantastic up top. And it's the fact that you've got someone that's an aerial threat. And when you did get it wide at times, they were getting crosses into mm -hmm. the box. You know, um, I like him. I like what I've seen in him. I think he, he, he's great from what I've seen so far, and I know people at the club and the players really like him. Um, great character, and I like characters like that. I like managers. I think they need more authentic. characters like that in Agreed. Major League I think Soccer. Managers are authentic. I like it. Uh, so Vanny Sartini will be suspended for the first six matches mm -hmm. of the MLS season Google for why? some 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 <laughs> antics uh, that he called why? in. We can't talk about it on the this playoff, show. The playoff loss to, to <laughs> LAFC, but you know, being without your manager for this first six <laughs> games of this season, I mean, I feel like that's that, kind of brutal. That that could affect a team, especially right out of the gates, Christine. Undoubtedly, I feel like it could go one way or the other, right? You have like the the fiery, like despite this, we're going to triumph or you fall by the wayside yeah. because you don't have your man um, out there on pitch with you. It's it, it, I still don't believe why he got it, <laughs> but that's a whole other, I legitimately thought yeah, Alexis yeah. was messing with him. I said why no. and everyone's like, well, that's something like you would said, say. Just Google it yourself. Just Google it, dude. Trust me. I promise you. You know, sometimes when you go through that, some managers, it's okay when they're not there. Nothing really changes mm -hmm. because they implement a structure. But for a manager like him, he has to be there because of his personality and character. Mm -hmm. That extra edge that he has been on the sideline will make a difference. I feel like because he is such a big personality, though, that the squad would want to rally for him, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. You would, but he also is very proactive as the game's going on. So mm. you know him being there is a big difference. Yeah. Like, right. That's what it is. There's some managers that they just have to be there on the sideline because some players will take their foot off the gas. But if he's on the sideline telling you, oi, you, up it, you, get up, this, that, it makes a difference. Can we also just talk about, I mean, other than when Nigel was there, there was a chance that Vancouver kind of felt a little bit irrelevant sometimes. And they're always under, They're always, always underrated. Always. Completely. We never really bring them up as no. much. Sartini comes in. He has them playing a fun, attacking style. It's going for it. He's on the sideline. He's emoting a mm -hmm. bunch. He's singing with Nickelback. I mean, there's just so many things to fall in love <laughs> with story. this team that they feel great. And just looking Stop at their forwards. Hating, you know, just, no, no, no. It's because they're in Canada. That's why. No, I hate Nickelback. But I love the fact that he loves them. One uh, of our, my favorite interviews that we've done on yes. Morning Footy was the conversation we had with Vanny Sartini. And some fantastic. of the players, how much they love him and they want to play for him. We were like, did anyone roast them? And they're like, no, why would you? He's the best. <laughs> and I'm like, that's such a cool atmosphere. But I look at their starting forwards or their, their forward squad. They got Brian White, 16 goals and 13 assists just in the league. Mm -hmm. uh, Fafa Biko, uh, Ryan Gould, Fafa uh, Demir Biko is Krylock. Joining from Fafa, from, yeah. 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 Fafa is the New generally York very, squad. very reliable. Like, big, big fan of Fafa's. I will be saying, I'm a little bit worried because they're age of their squad now is getting up there. That's they need my to stay worry healthy. thing but about But is that, that not a positive for Vancouver in the past? I've been a little bit of a youth. No. I'm telling I mean, you, it's, it's good. This is, I, I like this projected 11. You. This excites uh, me. I love the moves that they made in the offseason. I think bringing in a Demir Krylak to compliment huge. Brian yeah. White and Ryan Gauld, who have been so fantastic. Fafa Pekal knows the league. He's Fafa an MLS veteran. Fafa sitting behind Krylak. If he plays wing back, let's going to be okay. crazy. I love this. Yeah, but then let's not forget the length of the season, the traveling, everything that comes with it in that age. If two or three of them go missing, You're not it wrong. could be an indifferent season. That's yeah. the thing. You've got to get that balance right. But for me at the moment, yes, they've got the experience, everything, but they're pushing on a bit. It's a demanding season that could be 
go completely the opposite way if you have a few injuries. Once again, I think it all depends on how they start the season without Vanny Sartini yeah. on the sidelines for those first six games and if they can stay healthy. But I'm telling you, if they can, I'm looking at this projected 11 and it really excites me because I think that they they can almost erase. They're always, they're a perpetual dark horse yes. in, in Major League Soccer. And I feel like, I like with that. This lineup, they could establish themselves as a legitimate front runner. I think of the projected lineups we've looked at, mm -hmm. I think this one is probably the most legitimate in my opinion. Where I'm like, okay, yeah, they're they're pulling up. Also, we know that it's going to be exciting the way Sartini wants them to play. Tons of crosses, get in the box, lots of shots on target, absolutely incredible. I mean, this is why they leave themselves so open in the back. That's why you tend to get not as many clean sheets and certainly a lot of goals conceded in the season. But it's fun and it's exciting. Mm -hmm. This is what we want to see in this league. Mm -hmm. If we have very athletic and youthful league. We want to see them play this way. This is the type of team that you're not going to want to shut the game off when it's on. Oh, my favorite team stopped playing. This thing, this team comes up. I'm still going to watch it. Heck They're yeah. fun. They're going to be everyone's, you know, everyone is, people will have a second team in yeah. MLS. I don't know if that happens in England as much, but in America, <laughs> no. we're like, yeah, I like NYCFC, but hey, let me see what this team over here is doing. At least I'll watch because I know it's going to be exciting. I so feel like this is going to be a second team. We're all going to be eye burning midnight oil for that particular time. We though. can't because we go to bed at like 11 or 10. 100% yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. I know. One of those things <laughs> those <where> West Coast <laughs> games are so brutal. Bro, y'all love to I don't watch nearly late. enough Vancouver. Uh, we no, need to get Vancouver in the afternoons. MLS. Exactly.